So, uh, I just logged in after my little hiatus and, uh, <laughs> oh, man, oh, Tiggy, what did you do? Oh wow, yeah, I just logged in. I was told to record when I logged in. And uh <laughs> I was oh man. Oh Tiggy! I think I just got pranked, gas. I think I just got pranked by Tiggy. Also I did a ton of work on my area, by the way, that I had recorded a while ago. But uh, I scrapped that footage because I was talking about stuff that really wasn't relevant now, so it's kinda of pointless. Anyway. Wow, uh, I think this is the first prank of the server. Tiggy! Oh! Alright, Tiggy, payback. It's gonna be payback. Just you wait and see. Just you wait. Oh, I like the, the cold blocks to give you a nice shadow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. Whew, I was not expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Interesting, interesting. Oh wow, hey, at least I got some hardened clay. Look, always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> oh! Look up, yeah, I know, I know, look up, yeah. It says Tiggy, gotta turn around. Look up. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Okay, thanks. Bye. Heart. Raids was here. Oh, was it. Raider? Oh, is it Tiggy? Hmm. Raider or Tiggy? I'll have to check. I. I. Hmm. I think it was Raider. I think it was Raider. I think it was Raider. Uh, anyway, one of them's gonna get, uh, get a prank back. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, so, I guess I should start just cleaning this up right now. Oh, the portal stole it. I didn't even notice. I was just thinking, I was like, I guess the water put out the portal, but, huh, I guess it didn't. Hmm. Interesting, I guess I should clean this up now, and then I'll give you guys a tour of, uh, of what I've been doing on this server while I have not been recording. But first, I gotta clean this up, so uh, I'll be right back. Bye bye, gorgeous water. Well, you weren't really too gorgeous, so there is no shame in destroying you. Uh, oh, now I have to get down. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Good thing I don't have any torches around there anymore, so it doesn't screw up my lighting. Woohoo, fancy, fancy, fancy. Just you guys wait and see what I have done. I've done a lot of work to the Grove area here. Uh, it's still a work in progress. There's still some stuff I want to add. I want to tweak it a little bit. Oh, is it already nighttime? <sighs> Dang. I hate nighttime. Uh, that is a shame. Certainly is going down though, isn't it? I got my horse. I need a name tag for that guy. Oh, I got some uh, quartz too. Or is that snow? That's snow. Oh no! Oh, good thing I've got feather falling. Oh great! Now I have to get up there though. Oh, what a pain! All right, well before I take that down, I'll just take that down off camera sometime. And I guess it's nighttime, so it's a good time to show off my uh, my growth here and the ambient lighting I have put into it. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. Um, yeah. So as I've explained before, I oh gosh, I'm so bad at jumping. As I've like, as I have explained before, I uh, I wanted to put. How did? Oh, the water pushed it. I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I don't think dirt can fall like that. Uh, as I explained before, I wanted to put ambient lighting in the trees so you can kind of, you can kind of see the glowstone. So you have the glowing trees, and that I don't know. It just adds a little bit more ambience. All right, I gotta move this chest too. 
Wow, that's a lot of wood. Look at all that. Oh, that's a smith set, too. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to add this nice little horse area here. And I'm actually going to get hay bales and put them around here to make it a little bit less, I don't know, monotone. Eh, I don't know. It's not too monotone. It's just I want hay bales around. Like in this corner here, you know, along here maybe. Like that'd be nice. So this is where you can park your horse if you want. And then you see I everything's grown up. I filled in everything. I trimmed everything the way I like it. For the most part, I mean, I'm going to make adjustments here and there. And I put glowstone in the trees to make it the way I want it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's pretty nice. So let's go. Uh... I'll clean you later. That sounds wrong. <laughs> I'll clean this up later, though. I like the lighting with the torches on top. It looks very nice, very nice, very well done. Very artistic raider. Very artistic. Very artistic. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting that when I logged in. Uh, I just happened to be here. That was a great... Uh, that was surprising. Anyway, so yeah, this is my path that I made. So you see, nice long, nice ambient lighting here. And I have some open spaces because I think that looks a little bit nicer. So basically in my stuff that I've scrapped, I was just kind of putting this stuff in and making it look nice. You can kind of see this. I still want to accentuate this ravine somehow. Oh. Oh, I was just scared they were actually going to get up here. Uh, but I'm not sure how I want to do that. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave some in the comments. I'm not the best decorator. Hey, skeleton, you must have fallen from a tree or something. So, yeah, this is, it's, I don't know, I, I'm pleased. I'm not the best builder, so anything adequate is, is very pleasing to me. Uh, I've still got to make another bridge across there. Let's sleep through tonight, because night sucks, man. Night absolutely sucks. I hate it. Oh, the zombies are just killer. Killer, killer, killer. So, yeah. Also... Yeah, I mean, that's my, my growth thing. I am just out of it today. My wheat farm here. Not much of a wheat farm, but it's a wheat farm. Uh, <laughs> but I actually did finish the first layer of my farm. And if you wonder what that is, I'll show you in a second. Um, these cows. Oh, I got to get rid of these cows. Oh, there's still a zombie over there? Burn, zombie, burn. Oh, I was like, why is it in burn? Why is it in burn? So, this is what the first layer of my farm looks like. I need more stained clay. I'm actually going to need a lot more stained clay. And I'm going to need a ton of glass because, yeah, I want a ton of glass. And, oh my gosh, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. I want a ton of glass to make it kind of a, a glass dome-ish type greenhouse type thing. And that's going to require a ton of glass. I'm going to have to go to a desert and just farm glass for a while. Uh, so this is the basic idea. Uh, this is... Yeah, I mean, it's only going to be one level. And then you're going to have the next level is going to be just like the waterworks type level. So, uh, the idea is you place water in one of these squares. And it pushes it all to the edge there. And it goes down those holes. And then it all gets filtered into a single location. Um, and then what happens is there's a water source up there. You flick a lever. It releases a piston. That water source cascades down there and then falls down onto each separate thing. I'm still working on that. And this is just kind of scaffolding, testing stuff out to see what works and what doesn't. Um, but I guess I'll take you down in here. So this goes down here. And you'll see... That all the water goes to the central point and comes down here. I'm a piece of wheat right now. I'm a piece of wheat and I'm flowing through water. And so then those two meet up, the two guys over there, and then those two would meet up and come over here, and everything would eventually make it there. And I'm actually thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have everything meet up here and get transported that way. Some arbitrary distance or something. Or maybe that way again. And then there's going to be, it's actually going to be a dropper system that droppers all the items up into a nice chest sorting area. And this is going to be like the the shed, the greenhouse shed that's going to have, have hose, seeds, wheat, and stuff in it. 
um, and carrots and potatoes and stuff eventually. And then I'll come in here and I'll have to replant everything. I'm also thinking that I'm going to have my door area be right here. I wasn't sure if I had it wanted over there or over there or over there. But I think I'm going to have the door over here and then the shed right out here. That way you come in and it's like, oh, yes, very nice, very nice, very nice. So you might be wondering why this one actually doesn't have water and it doesn't come down to the center. It's because you don't need it. Because the center stuff all goes to these corners and all just get filtered over there, over there, and there. And supposedly, I guess it would be equal. But, uh, you know, and the reason, the problem, the reason it's not like this all the way around is because if a water stream splits in two, it falls down, splits into like two opposite directions, like it goes this way and this way, if you place something right in the middle, it doesn't go either way. So what happens is you have both of these out, right? And so each direction has like equal chance, I guess, or whatever, equal pull. So you place something down and it doesn't move. So I just decided to do the, do this way and it works very well and stuff like that. But you'll also note that there's blocks here and that's because I was running into that same problem. This center stream could go either that way or that way. And to fix that, I had to place a block there. So that means anything that goes there falls over there. And then I just do that clockwise and anything over there falls in there, anything over there falls in there. Etc. Etc. It works, and uh, it's good. It's water working like duct area, so you won't even be seeing that really. So it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I'd love for this wheat to grow by the end of the episode, so I could show it all. At least one little section just boop, popping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that is my farm. Awesome. So I'll come up here and show you guys what I've been working on. Just kind of a, a general idea. I'm really not sure how I want to do this yet, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. So, this is just an idea. I kind of place the water there, and then what would happen is it would go down. And we filter down, and we go into this area. And I think it just be so cool if this was all glass or something. And it was just like, oh, I don't know. I think that'd be really, really neat. You have glass, and you could see the water cascading down as after you pulled the lever. And then you could see it hitting the wheat. And it'd be really, really neat, but I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that. Uh, height levels, etc., etc. Why isn't that going away? There we go. There we go. Buckets are a bit iffy now. In 1.6.2, and actually in 1.5 also. But anyway, you like take that block out, and it would all fall down there, etc. So pretty neat, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still messing around. I'm really not the best builder, so forgive my lack of uh, my lack of aesthetics, to say the least. I am actually going to harvest most of these carrots and then replant them because that's what you do when you're farming. I think. <laughs> uh, but you really need a ton of food now with 1.6.2 because of the regening with the with the regening taking up food now so this farm is pretty big on purpose but I, I'm actually thinking I might need to make it bigger and I'm not really sure how I want to do that I'm not really sure how I want to do that yet but I'll probably be making it bigger in the future um, I'm not sure though I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, I also have to calculate yield and stuff from that. So we will see. Um, I just want to come over here. Say, look at this. Anybody know what this is? This is my super hastily draw <laughs> done zombie trap. So at night when I'm working, it's just ridiculously hectic. I don't know if I showed this off in the last episode or not. But there's so many zombies. It's, oh, it's crazy. It is. I just can't get over it. And so if I have zombies chasing me, instead of, you know, oh, there's my phone. Instead of, you know, attacking them, drawing in more zombies, I just hop over here, they fall down there, and I hop back out. And then when it becomes morning, then I take them out. Because it's much easier. Or they burn to death, you know. Um, but the problem is you got skellies, and then you're... And oh my god, there's 20 zombies there, and you gotta, like, peel her up and stuff real quick, like... But, oh, there's my... There is my other, uh... 
<laughs> my other device <laughs> pinging right now, saying I got an email. Anyway, uh, I'm so I'm thinking about making designing some type of mob fortress citadel thingy that I can go into at night that I'd probably put somewhere right here and I would eventually attach to my storage system which will be right here-ish that will maybe like an underground tunnel connecting to it or something and then all of these guys all of these guys are actually gonna be moved because my storage system is gonna be here and I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking I need to move these guys over there or behind the farm but I'm not sure I am not sure at all okay so let me grab some shears and shoot the sheep how many 23 I think I have less than 23 sheep all right I gotta kill these cows they're bugging me let's make these two but I cannot have these cows outside my fence on a onyx chapter ball or however that guy works what is, I don't even know what that's from I think it's Adventure time is it? Is it that like Lemonhead guy? All right. Uh, I I don't have enough wheat to breed all these guys, do I? Breed, breed, color shape, breed. Uh, this mates those two, and that's all I have. Yes, another yellow one. Nice. I gotta start coloring some other ones, some red and stuff. I gotta start sorting them out too, because that is a lot of sheep I have right now. And I'm really, I've never actually made a sheep farm before, so I will have to learn. Oh wow, I didn't mean to hit you. I'll have to learn how to make a nice sheep farm or something, so that I can easily mate them and then collect their wool and make sure they get replenish wool. Oh wow, I actually broke. Oh, perfect amount. Got all my sheep. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Got all my sheep. And I'm heading on out. I've also got to make, yeah, cause like this is just, that's just silly. I'll, I gotta work on that. Got to work on that. Let me sleep again, cause I hate stuff. I don't know what I was gonna say. I and I gotta. This is like my building stuff chest. I gotta change, change this somewhere. I'm gonna need more. I mean, I have some empty chests here. Oh wow, this is certain. What is? <laughs> I'm just trying to like think where, where do I put random stuff? This is why I need to start working on my storage area ASAP. But I still haven't designed that because what I. So what I'm thinking is, uh, Etho inspired, uh, if you've seen his first LP, he had like, uh, a minecart that went around his base and was like on fire and stuff. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not doing the fire stuff, but with the sorting, sorting mechanism, what I was thinking is I'd have something similar or it'd be circular and I mean, it'd be a totally different design, but it'd be circular and I'd have this minecart that goes around and you put stuff in it. And it just goes around in a circle around the base constantly, practically, almost. And what happens is you put stuff in it and it just goes, just keeps circling around, checks everything, puts stuff in the right spot, and then keeps going around and puts the next stuff in the right spot, and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know if that, if people understand what I'm saying, but that's my idea. And I'm thinking I need marble, not marble, oh, why do I keep calling it marble? Quartz and hardened clay and yeah quartz is very scarce in the nether very very scarce so I'm gonna probably have to go pretty far out to mine some quartz but I will try my best and I actually need more hardened clay too oh wow look at all that wool I have look at all that wool I have and I'll have to go I'm hunting for some clay from a fair distance away from here and hopefully I don't die this time oh man I had so much clay on me what a shame I can't believe I died that sucks man that gold armor I'm never wearing gold armor again I swear 
Alright, so let's take this down. Right now. Now, if only that was made out of quartz, not snow. My life would be much happier. <laughs> Any quartz you can get, right? Any quartz you can get. I actually think that's a... Uh, Oh, excuse me, I'm clearing my throat there. Oh. Uh, I think that's actually a major, well, not a major problem. Uh, a pretty common issue on servers is actually lack of quartz near nether portals because everybody's mined it up because it's such an awesome block. At least it seems that way. It seems like everybody's using it in their builds now. Because. There. Yeah. I don't know, but it, uh, yeah, a lot of people are using it in builds, and I know a lot of people on this server are using it in builds, and I know there's like none near me, because I went looking one time, and I had to go pretty far out for some, because I have some quartz, because I was going to make a uh, daylight sensor, I think. Yeah, I was going to make a daylight sensor for my cove, grove, my grove path there. But I decided, like, and then have, so basically just have, uh, you know, stuff turn on when it became nighttime. But then I decided against it because I like the ambient lighting. And I don't want to mess with the redstone there because I don't think it's necessary. But, you know. And I'm going to need hay bales, but, ugh, they just go through food so fast in 1.6. So... I can't really make hay bales until, you know, I have extra wheat, which might be a while yet, because I've only harvested my farm once so far. I have to be on for it to actually grow, because I'm not close enough to anybody, sadly. I wish, I wish that somebody has developed a uh, vanilla chunk loader. That'd be awesome. That would be so neat. I don't know how that'd be possible, but that would be so neat. Then you just kind of, you know, put this thing in your trunk and voila, there you go. You have a, uh, your wheat can grow while you're not on the server. You know, your gold farm can work or whatever if you have a gold farm. And that'd be really, really nice. So I'm thinking for my, uh, oh, I have so much stuff in my inventory. I'm thinking for my, oh, what is it, 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 for my, oh, why can't I think right now? My fort, my fort that I was talking about earlier, the zombie monster fort theme, what's it, bobber, gadget, gizmo stuff um <laughs> that thing what i was thinking was for that oh stupid thing for that is if there's a way to automatically kill stuff and then a way to not automatically kill stuff that way um i just kind of sit there everything's aggro to me for the night and i can just kind of sit there and afk for the night while things come and kill me and i can you know get mob drops and stuff and then also a way so I can make it not automatic and I can just kill them for XP if I wanted to. Uh, but again, I gotta kinda design that. I haven't really thought about that yet. But that'll probably be in the next episode. I don't know. I just had to talk about stuff today and stuff, do stuff, 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 stuff. I'm not really sure how long this video has been going on for. I think it's upwards of 20 minutes though. But I think I'm gonna have to end it for today once I gather up all of this stuff and I'll go ride oh come on oh that's gonna bug me there we go all right now I can go get that oh no there's still stuff over there yay 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 oh look at all this stuff oh we can take this down now too zoop 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 Zoop, 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 zoop. I wonder if anything's in the nether. I should check. I don't think Raider did anything to the nether, but I haven't checked, so I don't know. No, nope, same old, same old blurring path. This is also something I gotta work on. 
I have got to work on building a path here for my nether portal. So what I'm thinking is I'll have a minecart path and then a horse path and then a human path. Minecart path will be on this side. Human path will be on this side because it's on the inside of the curve, less running. And then the horse path will be just right here in the middle. Uh, actually, no. The horse path will have to be on the outside and the human path will be right in the middle because the horse path horse path has to have a little section where you can put your horse if you want to uh, I just want different places where you can put your horse depending on you know if your horse still has that five minute timer on him where can he go if you know you want to leave him in the nether because you want to get a quick getaway or something I don't know but I want many different options where you can put your horse because horses are neat all right some not a nice nice amount of brown stained clay some snow, some pink stained clay. That's good. But yeah, that's also something I gotta work on. I gotta think of a design for that. Um, I'm thinking stone bricks with trees again. Something, something using that. Not quite the same. A little bit more demonic. This is kind of happy quintessential type thing. But uh, the nether is gonna be kind of dark and gloomy with maybe some like dead bushes that I get from the desert and stuff using shears. Oh, I need silk touch shears for those. Do I need silk touch shears? Hmm, I can't remember. Oh, but silk touch shears would be very nice because then I could also get cobwebs and put that in my tunnel. That'd be really neat too, actually. Use those as decoration. Uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of thinking spitball in here. Anyway, oh, I gotta go get my horse. Dang it. <laughs> So this is very nice though. Not, I don't think any mobs can spawn on this because they can only spawn on these right here. And since those are closer to the light, they're pretty much all lit up to the correct amount. I'm pretty sure. And I don't think mobs can spawn on half slabs still, right? Right? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh no. Oh, one of the woes of Minecraft 1.6 is that whenever you enter a new dimension, the leads sometimes pop off, which sucks so much whenever you load a new chunk. That, that is very annoying. But, uh, you know. And I think I'm going to have to get a new horse at some point, because my horse feels a bit slow. But, uh, I'll do that in another episode. I also want to start a horse farm. Use this guy, go get a guy from the ranch, which I got, I have to show you guys a ranch at some point. Yeah. Um... Oh, I haven't shown that yet. I wanted to show that at some point soonish. Oh, I can only jump three blocks. I'm not, I'm not even a four block jumper. Oh, sad. But, uh, yeah, I gotta show you guys the ranch. I gotta start my horse breeding company. Uh, gotta finish this up. Got, ah, I have tons of stuff to do, so. Look forward to more episodes. Also, for those of you wondering, I will start uploading UHC episodes again. I kind of got backed up on that. Uh, I'll probably be uploading one a day along with my normal stuff until I'm caught up there. Anyway, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just kind of me blabbering around about stuff and explaining stuff and stuff and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> and I got pranked. Arr, I'll get you, Raider. I got to think about... I'm thinking of a good one right now. And uh, we'll see. That'll be in a couple episodes. Maybe. Whoa. Just you wait, Raider. Just you wait. Or to you. I'm pretty sure it was Raider, though. That seems like something he would do. Anyway, I will see you guys in another video or on Mumble or something. I don't know. See you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.